everybody, what is going on? Pete Simonetti here of NYY News. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you watching and joining. What I want to talk about today is something that a lot of Yankee fans are very, very interested about, and that is this kind of new makeup of the potential of what the New York Yankees rotation could be. This has a lot of fans buzzing. It has a lot of fans debating. And it has a lot of us very excited, again, about the potential of what this rotation could be. So I want to go over a few of the guys. I want to highlight some of the guys I think have a real legit chance to surprise some people. And go over one by one of not stats, not things of that nature, but just where these guys are right now and how they fit this ball club. I'm going to start off with a few names. Then I'll get to our regular guys, the guys we really expect to do very well, your Garrett Coles, things of that nature. So jumping out immediately, I don't want to talk about spring training stats. Uh, the Yankees rotation is doing extremely well in spring. So look, take that however you want to take that. I don't put too much into spring training stats. I think they're kind of useless. I like to look more at mechanics. I like to look at more uh, of, of delivery, the way the ball is coming out of the hand. I like looking at more of the things that are more optic-wise, which are eyes that you just watch and see. And there's been a couple of guys that I really feel like by just looking at mechanics and the stuff, the stuff, we got some things to be really excited about. Three names pop in mind, and they're probably not the regular guys that you're thinking of. And not the guys that I always talk about. So just to get it out the way, the guy I am most excited about this year is Jameson Tyone, because follow him for a long time, always been a fan of what his potential would be if he ever just stayed healthy, and he's looked terrific, but we'll get to him. But the three guys I want to start off with is number one, Jordan Montgomery. Good old Gumby. So we know Jordan. We know Jordan Montgomery. We know what he could do. Last year was a little bit of an up and down. Had a really big postseason start against the Rays, and he did very well. But so far in spring, he's looked amazing. Over-the-top delivery comes straight down. Curveball against Didi Gregorius was one of the nastiest curveballs I've seen in a long time from Jordan. What Jordan's able to do is to make every single pitch look like his fastball. And he's gotten to a point now, if you watch him in spring, where his delivery has now become so sharp, where it looks like everything is, is out the same angle. Boom, boom, boom. Time after again, fastball, changeup, curveball. Let's not forget, he also has a very good changeup that's very deceptive. He got a very, very good breaking ball that just drops right into the dirt. And I got a good feeling about Jordan Montgomery this year. Somebody said recently, you know, he reminds him a lot of Andy Pettit. In a sense, the repertoire is not too different. You know, he has a good cutter now too. Good location on the fastball. Pettit threw a little harder. Jordan's normally, you know, 90, 92, 93. Sometimes you see him hit 94, 95, but not on the regular basis. Usually lower 90s. But Monty with the big curveball. Monty with having a little better command if that doesn't prove. Spring training, his command has looked pretty rock solid. But he just looks phenomenal. He looks great. He looks like a real presence on the mound. And look, having a lefty in a rotation filled with hard-throwing righties is nice. And it's a nice mix but um, Monty could pitch against anybody. He's not one of those guys where you feel like he just needs to make contact. It wouldn't shock me to see Jordan Montgomery start racking up the Ks too. Uh, just because of the type of pitcher he is and what we have seen in spring on how his stuff looks, even though the stats have been great, how the stuff looks. Davey Garcia and Domingo Herman are the next two. Two guys that are right now competing for the number five spot. Right now, I got Domingo Herman taking the lead as of this moment. As I'm speaking now, Davey Garcia is getting ready to get on the mound, so this video will have nothing to do with his start today. We just want to talk about how he's looked so far. And he's looked terrific. You guys know it. I know it. Davey Garcia or Domingo Herman, whoever gets that five roll, I don't think Yankee fans are going to be too upset. We know the, the trouble that Domingo Herman has had off the field. I understand that. I completely get it. He's done his apologies to the ball club. Look, we can only take that with what we are told. We're not there in a clubhouse. We don't know how each player feels about him. We know what Britton said. Uh, but, but after that, Domingo was able to speak to the team 
per Aaron Boone. And whatever it is, it is. What we're looking at now is what is happening on the baseball field, let alone you know how we feel of somebody as a human. We are looking at what he's doing on the field right now. And if we're going off of pure stuff and how somebody's looked in spring, forget the stats, has there been anybody that's looked as good as Domingo Herman? His slider is stupid. His changeup, you talk about, uh, that's all, folks. Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, changeup, bunny ears, baby. You don't get much more bunny ears than that. This dude must have a damn bunny paw stuck in his back pocket. The good luck thing is you guys may or may not know. Kind of always weird to me. I don't understand stuff like that. It kind of goes along the borderlines of uh, voodoo. <laughs> Pedro Serrano type stuff. But no, um, he's looked terrific, man. He's looked absolutely awesome. I'm extremely excited about Domingo Armand because, remember, he was one of the Yankees' better starters two years ago. Had the whole thing last year. Gets back now, and in spring, he looks terrific. So this guy's been working. It's like I told Ryan on the podcast, man. In his spare time, he's been working. He's been putting in the work. You could tell. So very excited about Domingo Herman and Davey Garcia. What else you got to say about the guy? He's coming out there, man. He, he's throwing darts. Um, Again, just great off-speed pitches. Going at guys. Going right after them. So those are three guys that I think really have a shot just to be phenomenal. Now, all three of those guys likely will not be in the starting rotation to start the year. They may make a spot start in the first month a couple of times, but to start the year and possibly going into the second, third month without injuries, all three of those guys won't be in a rotation. Monty's likely a lock. I think he's definitely a lock. It's coming down to Domingo Herman and Davey Garcia, and I do think if Domingo Herman gets the number five nod, as it's more and more looking like, in my opinion right now, based on how he's looked, I think Garcia's best shot is to stay working in Triple A and just getting regular starts. Now it also depends on, like Aaron Boone said, how many starts they can get a guy in the first month where they feel they can use a six starter every now and then. It'll be interesting to see how they go about that, but when when lost, it's not really a loss for any of these guys. They're all gonna get starts this year, they're all gonna get a chance to do really, really well for this ball club. Kluber and Jamison Tyon. These guys are all about being healthy. Kluber has looked solid. Jameson Tyon, a lot of people made a big uh, fuss about his command. Look, his command's going to get there. The greatest thing about Tyon is that we saw hard velocity again. He doesn't need that to be a very good pitcher. But hey, everybody will take 95, 96 over 90, 90, 91, 92. Everybody would take that. Breaking ball looks phenomenal. New arm angle, taking less stress. He's coming on more that three-quarter than more over the top and, and arm bent where it's taking stress off the elbow. That's exactly what Jamison Tyone needs. So just having him healthy is a plus. Guy has great stuff, and on top of that, he's a pitcher. He's a pitcher's pitcher. He knows how to pitch. Same thing for Corey, Corey Kluber. We know everything about Kluber already. He's a pitcher's pitcher. He knows how to pitch. As long as he's healthy, he's going to pitch some rock-solid games for the Yankees. The same thing with Jamison Tyon. And then, of course, we got Ace O, our Ace G. Cole Money himself, Garrett Cole. No real concerns here. I see some people making a fuss out of spring training stats. Folks, who cares? If he's healthy and ready to go, he's always been somewhat of a slow starter. Don't get concerned about Garrett Cole. Let the man go out there and do his thing. But then the Yankees also have your Mike Kings. Uh, um, uh, guys who can still make an impact on that rotation, especially if they need spot starters or, God forbid, there's injuries. The Yankees are much better off this year than they have been in years past. They actually have guys who you have somewhat confidence in that could jump in and make a spot start or to hold a guy over for a little while because we don't know how the Yankees are necessarily going to use uh, Jamison Tyone and Corey Kluber. It may be a little relaxing on them, but a guy like Kluber, if Kluber's healthy, you get everything you can out of him. It's going to be a free agent again. It's a one-year deal. I think you really let him rock and see what he can do. Tyone, I kind of understand maybe being a little more um, sparse with him, so to say. Um, you know, big lead maybe after five. You're up five or six runs. You may say, hey, Jamison, great star, buddy. We're going to let you uh, you know get some rest till the next start. Just to ease you in a little more. 
I might have no problem with that, especially with the way the Yankees' bullpen can still shape up. And we'll talk about the bullpen, too, before the season starts. I'll do a video on that one as we know who is going to be in there. But the Yankees' rotation, folks, is shaping up to be absolutely terrific. I'm excited about it. I think they got a great, great potential this year. Stay healthy. That is the main focus. Easier said than done. I understand it. But they also got pretty good depth this year to really be phenomenal. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. And also, too, if you haven't subscribed to NOY News, Simonetti Source YouTube page, if you haven't done all that, folks, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing every day of your life that you haven't subbed to this page? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, subscribe. Put that uh, thumb. What is it? What is it called? Um, the little bell. Click the bell. Ring the bell, whatever it is. Ding, 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 ding. I'm going to go up there. Video posted by me, Felix, RB, Francis, whoever it is. The team is on lock, baby. 2021 is the year of the Yankees. It's also the year of NY News. We're coming on stronger than ever before. Okay? See the merch? The Constant Gardener. Call me the Constant Simonetti. I'm going to be here constantly, baby. All right? You feel it? Look. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm a little crazy, folks. You got to understand. It's all good. You can make fun of me if you want. I don't mind. Comment section below. Let me know how you feel. Right from a 1 to a 10. 1 to a 10. How confident are you in the New York Yankees rotation this year? Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Talk to you again very, very soon. Yeah.